Dykus Johnson, President and CEO of Network Health, a different kind of health insurance company right here in Wisconsin. Our commercial and Medicare plans offer employers, individuals, and families access to a high-performing network of doctors, specialists, and hospitals, including Freighter Health, Children's Hospital of Wisconsin, Ascension Wisconsin Hospitals and Clinics, and the Medical College of Wisconsin. I invite you to experience Network Health. Call 800-276-8004 today. Are you ready to land your dream job? Start classes this fall at Waukesha County Technical College. More than 14,000 Milwaukee area jobs posted last year directly relate to a WCTC degree. Explore in-demand degrees in programs like nursing, business, robotics, welding, culinary, paramedic, and more. You'll get hands-on skills and get to work faster and more affordable than you think. It's not too late. Apply today at wctc.edu. wctc.edu. Dr. Kevin Izzard. 
I want to spread the word about the need to get the flu vaccine, especially in communities of color where it tends to hit us harder. Everyone over six months old needs to get the vaccine. And when you do, you'll be protecting yourselves, your family, and so many others. That's why you need to spread the word too. Word travels fast, so maybe this year the flu won't. Get more information from your doctor's office, your pharmacy, or online with the hashtag Let's Talk Flu. A message from the Wisconsin Department of Health Services. Blog Talk Radio.
Man, man, we are a jamming Sister Lucille band on the Humagoo, 99 pounds. Ooh, Kimberly Dill is joining me live on the Humagoo with Jamie Haldron, guitar and vocals also. Thanks, guys, for coming on the show today. Yes, thanks for having thanks us. Thanks for having us, man. Appreciate it. Right oh, here. I love it. Thank you kindly. And uh, Gil Anthony, I had Gil on a couple weeks, and he's my, you know, he's like the, the mentor man, is uh, the blues and uh you know, watching his stuff, and he's trying to lead me some direction. He's like, you got to get a hold of Kimberly Gill and get, get that CD, and Alive is the name of the new CD. And by the way, congratulations, you are chart number two on the Roots Music Charts today. Yes, actually. we hit number two this week. We uh, went up a couple spots. We're really excited to be in quarantine and still having those uh, numbers going up on the charts. That makes us feel a little better about setting here doing nothing, I guess. Yeah, yeah, especially since it was released in October. Yeah, we're about seven so, months into this, uh, 28 weeks, I think. To even just have a presence on the charts seven months later would be amazing, but to be number two in our genre, and, and what were we on the top 50? Uh, number 20 this week out of all the top. blues genres in the nation. Yeah, so we're excited. Even more excited about <laughs> that one, I think. Well, what happens, I think, is, is you just got to hear it. When you hear it, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Thanks, Gil. I'm like, yeah. Right. There's so many of the artists At this point, like it is that. definitely the DJs that are doing this all for us. They they either love you and they will play you or they'll just play you for a couple months because that's what they do. Um, but if they love you, they will continue, and, and, and it's just amazing. Yeah, wonderful amazing. wonderful people like Gil, once again, has, has been playing this for a long time yeah. now. And uh you know, I mean, Gil's so cool, man. He's that guy, just like his whole persona and his whole character, just eat, breathes, and lives this music. Yeah. You can tell how much he loves it, and so it's an honor for us to have cats like Gil believe in us and play our music. It really is. It sure is. And we got to yeah, meet him in Memphis in January too, and at our blues at our showcase there for Endless Blues, and um, it. It was just like instantaneously. I mean, we'd already been conversing so long, you know, since October on the radio, but to physically get to meet, I think it kind of sealed the deal a little bit too. We took some pictures, got to meet, I got to meet Miss Sean Murphy, which is one of my most number one favorites in this genre. Same with Bob Seger for how long, you know, (laughs) he's one of the queens too. So it was a nice, yeah. nice visit. So you got a picture of you and Sean Murphy and Gil. I sure Anthony, do. Right? Yeah, yes. yeah, we're going to get that framed. <laughs> yeah, Gil just sent that to me. Yes. <laughs> you know, that is the magic of Gil. He, uh, myself, welcomes him, myself, with my show that I've just created. You know, who is this guy with the Magoo stuff, playing the blues, comes on my show a couple times, but it's passing on the music and the karma of life and fun is what he does. Yes. You know, yes. continuing to me to continuing on. Whatever it can help you with at that time gives me an hour. I just do it for fun to learn and grow, and that's what I've discovered with this show um, and with you and the music. Mm-hmm. And that whole blues festival is really amazing time, I hear, that everybody comes together. Yeah. The IBC? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. The International Blues Challenge, it is incredible. I mean, it's, 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 it's more to me about – you know, marketing your band and, and getting to showcase yourself in front of people well, you would never get to. Ultimately, you know? networking is the yeah. key to that. I mean, sure, hey, if you can make the, the top ten and, and, you know, that's certainly if you make the top three, you know, then, then – You're then, going to have a very successful – But for most career. bands, you know, they'll, they'll go home, you know, without without those top three numbers. And, and so it's really all about the networking at that point. There's yeah. a lot of festival promoters, a lot of – a lot of yes. booking agents, a lot of heads of labels. Yeah. And uh, it's really, you know, you say in the band business or playing music that every gig, you know, you got to gotta kind of give it your all because you never know who might be in the audience. Right. Well, at IBC, that is literally true. <laughs> we had a 15-minute spot. That's all we played, 15 minutes. And we got a Canada Festival. And, uh, well, we did a showcase. Yeah. We weren't in the competition. Yeah, we did a showcase, a showcase for our label. Yeah. And in that 15 minutes, we got an offer to play a Canada festival and an offer for the Winter Festival in Ohio. So it's just like if we – I mean, that's amazing. We would have never got to put our band before those people if it wasn't for IBC. So it is very, very helpful. <laughs> yeah, and you have your, your friend uh, 
uh, Riva, the Memphis Queen. I'm hoping she gets a chance yeah. to give us a call today. Uh, anybody wants to give us a call and chat, we got a yeah. phone number, 516-387-1328. 